Tardigrades, also known as water bears, are some of the most extraordinary animals on Earth. What makes these microscopic arthropods so special is their ability to survive in a variety of extreme conditions. Tardigrades have been known to survive in ice caps, volcanoes, and even the vacuum of space. The secret to their incredible survival is their ability to enter a state called cryptobiosis and become a ton. During cryptobiosis, a tardigrade slows down or halts its metabolism, dehydrates itself of moisture, and synthesizes certain proteins and sugar that protect its cells. As a ton, it is neither dead or alive, but once rehydrated, it can easily come back to life. These tardigrades were ordered from the Carolina Biological Supply. The following experiment was conducted to test if tardigrades would enter cryptobiosis in response to freezing temperatures. 0.5 milliliters of the tardigrade solution were each pipetted into two different glass dishes. To avoid spilling, the dishes were each placed in a small labeled plastic container. One container was placed in a fridge and the other in a freezer. After 24 hours, the containers were opened and the tardigrades observed. The water bears that had been in the fridge had little difference. The majority of them were thriving and eating as if nothing had changed. The freezer ones, however, were in a very different situation. Unfortunately, almost all of the tardigrades ceased to have lived. These dead tardigrades were motionless and either sank to the bottom of the dish or were suspended in the floating algae. Not a single one exhibited traits of having entered cryptobiosis. However, one remarkably survived. It had not entered cryptobiosis, but it was moving like it had been before the freezer, just at a slower pace. But why? Why had the tardigrades died in the freezer if they are known to survive in temperatures of down to negative 450 degrees Fahrenheit? Almost certainly, it was because these were laboratory reared tardigrades and were not wild. It is an inherent problem that laboratory reared tardigrades are unable to enter cryptobiosis. Without their abilities that would have enabled them to survive the freezing temperatures, the tardigrades didn't last for long. When cells freeze, ice crystals begin to form in and around the cell. And because water expands upon freezing, the water crystals destroy organelles and membranes, eventually causing the cell to burst. Wild tardigrades, which can be found in moss, lichen, and algae all over the world, probably would have fared better. Unfortunately, this experiment did not go as planned. Nonetheless, tardigrades are extraordinary creatures and will continue to fascinate scientists in the future.